My name is Cordero Holmes, and I'm a soon-to-be Sun Devil graduate, as well as a 2023 MLK Living the Dream honoree. I'm honored to talk to you about ASU's Educational Outreach and Student Services, or as it's known, EOS. There are hundreds of initiatives and services inside the EOS universe, all of them tied to ASU's charter, not to exclude, but to include. We begin with a program that is reaching thousands of young students and creating a college-going culture that's a movement in our community, ASU Preparatory Academy. The experience for elementary education for my boys was very interesting because I didn't feel that they were being challenged. When I first checked out ASU Prep, I was really excited for that STEM program. My science teacher, he goes above and beyond to like find new fun stuff to learn about and we do labs about it. They find what these students love, find courses and classes that are guided to what they want to do in life, and it just opens up more opportunities for them, more love for education that they probably wouldn't get at another school. I have done campus visits here at ASU. I've been to all four campuses. My favorite thing was the virtual reality. We got to see moon rocks, we got to see asteroids. It was like a new way to like explore. I've had a lot of good curriculum. I take a lot of classes that give me both high school and college credit. It could be hard at times, but they'll find the right people for you to help you learn. So whatever you want to be at ASU Prep, you could be. And that really pushes you to do more. I had no idea then how truly amazing it was going to be for my kids, moving them to that school. ASU Prep really is there to help our kids pursue their dreams and reach their dreams. There are around 14,000 students in foster care in the state of Arizona. 80% want to get an education after high school, but difficult circumstances mean that only four in 100 will make it to college. The people at First Star Academy are working to flip the script. I was placed in the foster system with all four of my siblings pretty early on in my life. My brothers and I were placed into a foster home when I was 13. I never really thought much about my future. Things changed when my caseworker, she told me, hey, I signed you up for this program. It's called First Star. They basically help kids in the foster care reach college. After I joined First Star, it became like, oh my goodness, like this is actually an opportunity for me. They walk us through the whole process of doing scholarships or applying for college and really opened up my eyes to the opportunities that I had. It was so extremely helpful to have that contact who works at ASU and who knows everything about it. The biggest surprise that came out of becoming a part of First Star was finally having a sense of family or community. I hope to see that First Star expands and reaches more kids like me because the work that they do pushes our community forward. First Star is the biggest reason why I am at ASU today and it forever changed my life. My name is Sammy Lopez. This is my first year studying at ASU. My major is conservation biology. My name is Anthony Stilson. I'm 19 years old. I am enrolled to study business law at ASU. Next, we shine a lot on sales. For students with disabilities, navigating college life can be particularly daunting. But student accessibility and inclusive learning services cultivate an atmosphere where every person feels valued, respected, and empowered to be successful. When I was younger, I was explicitly told that I was not college material and that I would never graduate high school. Against all odds, I graduated high school. I had a mentor at the time and she said, have you ever thought about Arizona State? I learned a lot about assistive technology that I did not know before. Student Accessibility and Inclusive Learning Services, or SALES, exist today to ensure that there is a culture of access and inclusion embedded through all parts of the university. From birth, I've always been visually impaired. So without accommodations, I would definitely face many barriers. Before I came to ASU, I spoke of a representative from sales on the support that I would need. As a Sun Devil, it has given me a lot of confidence since I've been here, and it really gave me that sense of community. We are empowering others with disabilities, making sure that they are independent learners and making sure that they have an accessible and equitable educational experience. ASU is the largest public university in the country. 
And despite that size and distinction, you will not find two students who are alike or two journeys that are the same. There is a constant though, and that's ASU and EOS's belief in giving every student a platform to thrive and become the best version of themselves. Yeah, I really came alive at ASU just going to all of these expert lectures where I knew nothing about these topics, but just hearing them talk about these things, my base knowledge just kind of soared. And so that led me to doing, you know, mentorship with RISE, refugee program, being a center for the study of religion and conflict fellow, international conferences. ASU provided me the confidence to know that there's so much more that I could do if I'm just brave enough to follow what feels right, as opposed to kind of a clear cut or expected path. So I grew up here in Phoenix, Arizona, and I went to a really large high school in North Phoenix. And out of my graduating class of several hundred students, I was one of the only black males in my class. So coming to ASU was a real culture shock, and it was amazing to see such a diverse community. I was able to find people who share a culture that was similar to mine. Together, we refounded the uh, African Student Association, and I now serve as the external vice president of the Black African Coalition. So the Black African Coalition serves over 30 student organizations on campus and 8,000 students across all four campuses and online. There is no one path to college or to success. Every student is on their journey, and that's why it's vital that these initiatives, experiences, and services facilitated by EOS continue to be supported for future generations of students. Thank you, and go Devils. <laughs>